da 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 Hello and welcome. My name is Jenna Citrus and I am in my closet. <laughs> uh, so I absolutely love ball gowns. There's probably quite a bit of an obsession with them. So I'm just going to start trying them on and I have a whole rainbow. They're actually organized in rainbow order. We start off with white and we go red and pink and orangey yellow, green and blue and purple and multicolors. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna start trying some ball gowns on and let's get excited! Alright, I'm so ready for this. Bring it on! Oh, there is a Patreon version where there will be all the in-between trying on clothing outfits, which are not outfits, but <laughs> so like the, I guess it's a behind the scenes video. And yeah, let's just get something poofy on already. I'm so excited. Then I just can't hide it! Alright. I'm deciding what color to start with. Should I do white or red? I might start with red. That seems like a good place to begin. Ooh. All right, here we go. We're starting with the color mesh. So we'll start with the white blending into red. Uh, I guess I can tell you where everything came from if I remember it very well. This came from a Goodwill. I got it on a buy one, get one free. I want to say like Labor Day-ish sale and it came from Florida and I've shot it on the beach before so let's get it on I forget how short this is ah! uh, I actually wore this on my birthday it was kind of exciting uh, I did wear it very shortly amounts of times or maybe I didn't wear it at all because I went to an Italian restaurant and I was like hey I'm gonna be all fancy and wear this and I was like pasta <laughs> So I absolutely love it. It's got a corseted body up top here. And then it kind of drapes down. So it does have a high cut split and the back of it is amazing. It goes for days and days of length. Ah. Yeah, so this is this is what's up, what I'm wearing. Alright, next one has not yet had a photo shoot. Sigh and sadness. Um, it came from the Dillard's Clearance Outlet Center um, in Mississippi. It still has the tags on it. I'm not returning it, but just so you know. Uh, I have not shot in it yet, which is basically a tragedy. <laughs> it does have a corseted back that I do not have pulled all the way on. Because corsets are really hard to wear by yourselves, but you can just imagine it looking amazing. Also has another corseted body that's mesh. I do love the sheerness factor. Oops. Oh well, this is on. Manual focus. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Hope it's better now. Yeah, I absolutely love the way this looks. That's going to be so pretty if I had like a headpiece and a big long wig. Oh, I can just imagine the shoot. Yeah, I like it. All right, on to the next one. All right, who's ready for the Nutcracker? Um, I kind of view this as my Christmas dress. I did wear these. I have a pair of ruby red slippers. Oh, they're right here. Woo! Yee! Also other shoes. Uh, so I actually wore this sitting on Santa's lap this year. Yes, I know. I'm too old for that. Whatever. <laughs> it was adorable! <laughs> oh, wow. It looks like... Go up there. All right. Anyways, hi. Um, so this does have a built-in leotard, so it's very safe for uh, dancing around, and I love it. Very fun, very fluffy, very funky, very high key, and also red. So yeah, so so, so far we started with accent reds, and I think we're getting ready to move into full-on red. Are you ready? Welcome back. So um, as you can tell right now, which I can tell from here. My Canon camera unfortunately does not like the color red very much. Right down there it's about right. But um, I have strayed away from red my whole lifetime as a person and a model and a photographer because um, it looks really bad sometimes. <laughs> not, not to be hating on the color red, but my camera has a lot of trouble picking it up and my godmother told me that it doesn't look great on my skin. So I mean, there you go. What more reasons do you need? Um, I also don't have this on 100% of the way, but it is... Hang on. There we go. 
Now you can, you still can't see it. <laughs> Nothing. But, um, this is ridiculously beyond long, and I need to be 12 more feet taller to wear it. I feel like it's a quinceanera dress, and it was a size zero, and now it's my size, because I, I can sew a little bit, sort of, sometimes. Um, yeah, I'd just love to be this much taller and wear it all the time. But I love this dress so much. It's so awesome. I also have one more super favorite red dress. I'm just gonna skip it. I'm gonna do it next because I want to show you. All right. So this dress says it is size 11 slash 12. I'm not sure I believe that. I got it at a local Salvation Army and I think it was only $20 and right now I'm having trouble zipping it. So I guess I'll just hold it. <laughs> Actually, hang tight. Let me see if I can get it. It's gonna take a minute. All right, well that was quite an intermission, but I do finally, finally have this on. And, oh man, that just looks so pretty from the back, like how poofy it is. Uh, so this I can pretty much get a full hoop skirt underneath. Um, it's amazing and awesome. I've worn this when I was um, photographing with Ivy Lee, and we have some behind the scenes footage that I guess I need to refine again and upload because it was amazing. Uh, yeah, I love wearing giant poofed dresses. And this is my life now. So if you need me, I'll be wearing this. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, I do have one more red dress I have to get done for this series, but this is just so comfortable. It's just a hair big, but I'd rather them be too big than too little because then if they're too small, I can't wear them out in public, which is what I basically need to do for the rest of my life. Just need to find events like thrift stores and dinners at McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> reasons to leave my house in ball gowns uh, yes thank you and please and here's just your reminder before I get to my, uh, my this is my penultimate red dress so I've got I don't have a large pink collection maybe, I, maybe I'll blend it into like the orangish collection we'll see what happens but um, there is content of this on patreon so be sure to view the entire full-length video and this video is like 10 minutes 12 minutes so there's missing content be sure to subscribe check it out and i guess i'll sadly take this off i don't want to i love it so much boo i just need to go run around in it oh it's loveliness and poofiness and layers all right i'm just gonna go like lay somewhere I'll be back. <laughs> all right i'm back i'm feeling sufficiently princessed enough so i'm gonna take this off put on my last red dress Jen in the red dress, the red dress on oh, jeans. The Jen with the red dress on. Oh. oh no, I'm stuck again. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, here we are. Last red dress. I got this because I can actually walk in it without high heels. It's short enough for a person of my incredibly tall stature. So, uh, yeah, that makes me excited. Maybe this should come inside and be like a. I don't know, this feels more like an indoor dress. Like a could easily wear on any night out. So, yeah. I might reclaim this one for my my other closet. Not that not that I have more than one closet or anything. <laughs> I might just have a ball gown closet. <laughs> and it's not even in a real building. Technically, this is plywood. Don't tell anyone. I'm in a barn. <laughs> you can't see it. That's good. So um, I'm gonna go get this edited, post it on Patreon, and ready for action and viewing and. Hopefully next up we will get pink started. Who's ready to rumble? Tick tick do.